that into the weekend. Get to check your neighborhood Stormwatch forecast right now with Chief Peter Alvis, Tara Lane. Tara, worried about the weather and also our plans. I know the outside plans. You sure enough may have to uh, dodge some of the raindrops out there. Scattered showers and storms will be developing off and on through pretty much the entire weekend. Although it's a dry scan right now as we look around on Fox 46 radar. We have to look all the way out toward the central and eastern part of the state to pick up that line of showers and storms there that's just kind of sitting there. We had some of that heavier rain that was uh, really slow moving around the high country earlier. Mountain communities, Watauga, parts of Ash County where we had that flood advisory. But again, that has all faded away. But still plenty of tropical moisture out there. We're feeling the humidity. It wasn't as cool out there this morning as earlier in the week. We only hit a low of 73. So that's 10 degrees above average. But the late afternoon high, of course, with the clouds and the spotty rain around, not much of a chance of a big warm up happening. But we uh, topped out at 83 degrees. So that's typical for this time of the year. 76 right now in the Queen City. We've got low to mid 70s from Lincolnton up through Statesville, Salisbury, Albemarle, still close to 80 out there in Rockingham, mid 70s in Gastonia, 73 for you folks in Shelby and up through the Taylorsville, Hickory, Lenore, Morganton areas, mid to upper 60s in the mountains. What to expect? In fact, we'll take it right on out through early next week. We will get, as I mentioned, more rounds of scattered showers and storms all through the weekend. There will be some dry time in there, especially maybe later on Sunday, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a moment. So the highest chance of rain for the weekend does come on Saturday, and then on Monday we'll get another round of showers and storms, but behind this next cold front, we will tap into the drier air. That means lower humidity, back to sunshine, and slightly cooler temperatures by this time next week. We'll certainly be talking about it. So tracking this first cold front that will start to settle in and just kind of stall out to our north. So we're still going to be feeling and seeing the, the tropical moisture out there. That's going to mean more scattered showers and storms for tomorrow, right on through Saturday morning, and then going into the afternoon and evening. So that's why it's going to be the wetter half of the weekend. And even though we'll still see some lingering rain with the front trying to push a little more to the south on Sunday, that's Sunday morning. Notice how by the afternoon, best chance of rain will be from near Charlotte off to the south. Meantime, the farther north and west you go, the drier it's going to be, but not for very long because here comes the next front and that will bring us more rain into Monday before the drier air starts to filter in. I want to talk about the tropics because there's still plenty to talk about on this climatological peak day of Atlanta hurricane season. And we are still talking about tropical storm Paulette and Renee out there over the open waters of the Atlantic. Now, Renee expected to become a category one hurricane, but stay out at sea. As for Paulette, this may make a run at Bermuda before curving and staying away from any major threat to the U.S. And that would be early next week, but it's still going to create some rough conditions out along our Carolina coast and life threatening risk currents too. So keep that in mind if you do have some beach plans for the weekend. Also looking at a couple more disturbances, one east of the Bahamas that could move into the Gulf with about a 50-50 chance of development there. And another one south of the panhandle of Florida that will head maybe off the coast of Texas and another tropical wave coming off the coast of Africa. So this is way out over the open waters of the Atlantic that could become Sally. That would be the next name on the list. Panthers game on Sunday. Again, it's going to be a close call. Chance of showers will continue. And don't forget about about our black and blue kickoff Sunday morning, 10 o'clock, that pregame show as football begins, guys.